human speech is the result of thinking and is closely connected to thinking. I have a question here about stuttering. We are going to talk about speech first because stuttering appears as an inability to speak. I will demonstrate why this is so in several examples. First, what is speech? Speech is an auditory expression of thoughts. We all have five senses such as vision, hearing, smell, taste and tactile perception. Speech is an expression of information that we hear. We do not see, smell, touch or taste sounds of speech. We can only hear them. Therefore, visual associations are being formed on the foundation of speech codes. For example, a newborn baby doesn't know any language yet, no matter what race, nationality, color or gender they are born, all children possess the same speech apparatus. I am excluding biological abnormalities such as gene deformities. Technically, all children all over the world have the same set of speech organs. Teeth, tongue, lips, palate, everything is the same. Also, right after babies are born, they all produce the same first sound, ah. We should clearly understand that the skill of speaking is not present in newborn babies. If we place a Chinese baby uh, in a Russian-speaking family, he or she will not begin speaking Chinese language all of a sudden. Language genes do not exist. Traditionally, stuttering is being treated medically as it is a disease. It's like uh, the speech has suddenly become ill. But we know that speech is a set of skills, and the skill cannot become sick. Every baby is like a foreigner to an adult, no matter what family he is born in. A Russian child appears a foreigner to his Russian-speaking parents because he doesn't know any language skills yet. He has to learn the language from the very beginning. All babies start acquisition of the speech sounds with the same ring tones, such as U, which is produced when our speech apparatus forms the specific articulatory position, which the flow of air is passing through. So our speech apparatus is a simple instrument that is built to make sounds. These sounds are made in nature and babies learn to use them just like we learn to write. We'll have to train our hand to draw letters because we do not have this skill yet at birth. The same way we learn to drive a car or play musical instruments, all these skills are not inherent not transferred through our genes, and they have to be learned. Modern speech professionals are talking about gene of stuttering. They claim that stuttering is caused by some kind of a brain abnormality. However, our brain supports our ability to remember and store information only. If we did not download a certain language as a set of skills in our memory, we wouldn't be able to recall it from there. Our brain cannot create a language if it hasn't been learned yet. It's like we wouldn't be able to recall Spanish language if we never studied it before. 
Therefore, if a human's memory functions within the norms, then his or her brain, which is just his or her memory storage, cannot be sick. It's amazing what's happening with stuttering now. A person who stutters is simply not taught appropriate speaking skills. For example, all stutters have difficulty moving their lip and face muscles into appropriate articulatory positions. Since their early school years, Russian-speaking people who stutter have been taught to produce all consonant sounds with their lips positioned for the sound air. Eh. For example, they say fe, me, she, ke. They do not say the way necessary for production of these sounds in words. F, m, sh, k. When I need to say, for example, tom, I will first move my lips forward for the sound o, and then say to. The stutterer will produce this word starting with the sound t, which is automatically being recalled in his mind as t and his lips will take an articulatory position for the sound a eh instead of instead of o oh. as a result he hesitates to say the word as physiologically his vocal cord cannot turn on try the following yourself protrude your lips into articulatory position of the sound u and try to say ah now you are in a position of a stutterer in 99% of the cases, stuttering occurs in young children when their parents teach them early writing skills incorrectly. Normal speech development of the child becomes disturbed at the moment of the very first letter introduction done incorrectly. An adult shows and labels the letter, for example, T. But there are two sounds in this uh, letter name, T and E. So the child memorizes this label, T. Then, trying to sound out this letter together with a vowel letter, for example, O, he attempts to say T-O in his mind instead of TO, because he has been psychoprogrammed that that's how the letter T should sound. However, we obviously do not say it this way. We speak in a completely different way. We speak in a natural way, which requires us to produce specific, precise sounds in words only. When a person mixes up these two totally different skills of speaking and writing, it creates a great confusion in his mind. These two skills follow different rules in their development. When we write, we activate a visual part of our brain, see letters with our eyes and write with our hand muscles. This is the path of the energy flow inside of our body for recognition, remembering, and performing writing skills. Acquisition of speech involves a totally different path. It employs our hearing and speech apparatus. In other words, eyes and hands are our tools for writing and our ears and speech apparatus are our instruments for speaking.